वेलकम बैक गाइस आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू बी फाइन सो दिस इज क्वेश्चन 2.56 एंड द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज रिपीट एक्सरसाइज 4.43 ऑन पेज 1 टू 7 बाय अप्लाइंग थ्योरम 4.5 एंड कॉलरी 4.6 ओके सो इन दैट क्वेश्चन व्हाट वाज गिवन लेट मी राइट इट हियर सो यूजिंग द कलर हियर एंड हियर द क्वेश्चन हियर वाज एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू 1 बाय 4 exponential of minus x by 4 for x greater than 0 and it is 0 elsewhere okay so this is what we have now in order to see the theorem 4.5 what was it so in order to find the expected value of a x plus b it would be what it would be a expected value of x plus b okay similarly according to this corollary the variance of ax plus b is what this is equal to the a square sigma square of x okay so these are the two things which we have to remember here so according to our previous question what did we have to find out in that question, we had to find out the expected value of y, okay, where y was what? y was basically the 3x minus 2. So, therefore, we had to find out the expected value of 3x minus 2, which will be according to this would be what? this would be 3 expected value of x minus 2 okay so that is what we have to find out and here let me call it equation a okay so the expected value which is here in order to find it out we had to do what the expected value of x is basically x f of x dx okay and here we have to write the limits so as the limits are from 0 to infinity so here we have to write them here okay now let me write their values or using the color which is black here let me use this color so in order to find the expected value of x here what do we have to do let me write the value of f of x and this x is basically this capital x so it would be 0 to infinity x f of x is 1 by 4 exponential of minus x by 4 d of x okay so this is what this is the multiplication and here we have to use the integration by parts okay so applying the integration by parts here let me use here the formulation here according to that formulation let me take this one as u and this one as dv okay so according to that one or integration by part what would we have we will have u dv equal to uv minus integral of v du okay so we have to use these one here okay so we have these values we know the value of u which is given here and that is x okay so on the basis of it the value of d of u would be d of x okay similarly we know the value of dv but here this is basically the constant term so let me take it out so here it will be here okay and the original dv will be here so it would be what it would be exponential of minus x by 4 dx okay so on the basis of it integrating both sides what would we get the value of v would be minus 4 exponential of minus x by Four. okay so that is what these are basically the values we will need in our upcoming valuation 
by putting them all here okay so let me put them here and see that what happens okay so let me move down somehow putting them all values here here we would have this common one by four and also this uv so u is x while v is what that is minus four let me write it here minus four e of minus x by four okay and as this is the definite integral we have to write here from 0 to infinity okay with it i have to subtract and there i have to disintegral this would also be from 0 to infinity the value of v here is also given and that is minus 4 exponential of minus x by 4 okay and with it du so du is also given and that is d of x okay so let me simplify it simplifying it what i will get here it will be the this would be minus 4 multiplied by x exponential of minus x by 4 this will be from 0 to infinity also here integrating this one what would i get here the answer of it would be this would be the 16 exponential of minus x by 4 okay and it would be from 0 to infinity okay so these are here now writing them here what will i get here putting this limit here this would become 0 0 why because here it would be 1 by 4 okay and it would be minus 4 so it would be 0 0 so it will be 0 here as well and also here minus 16 and here writing these limits here we would get 0 minus 1 okay which will ultimately give me 1 by 4 multiplied by 16 so the answer of it would be 4 okay so the expected value of the x is four okay now taking this value which is equal to four okay and putting it in equation which is given here so let me see where is that this one is let me see that yes it is here okay so let me take this four and put it here so here in this one the expected value of y would be the 3 multiplied by the value of it is given that is 4 minus 2 so the answer of it would be 10 and that is what that is basically the solution for finding the expected value okay also to find the variance of it let me see that what is this so in order to find the variance of my question we have here this formula so this one is here and in order to find it out we have to find the sigma x square okay so in order to find it out what do we have to do let me start doing it here and to find it out what would we get sigma x square is equal to the expected value of x square minus the expected value of x whole square okay so its value is already given and that is 4 while to find out the value of it what do we have to do we have to use the same formula but here if i will use here square i have to use here square as well and again the same formulation whatsoever we have done here we again have to use the integration by parts and all steps again okay so finding them all the answer of it is given and that is 32 okay so putting the value of e of x here we would get here 16 okay so ultimately the answer of sigma x square is 16. now in order to find the value which is here okay so in order to find the value of this one let me use this color 
So this would be the sigma square 3x minus 2 because this one is here and this is because of this y. So this would be the a here is 3. So 3 square multiplied by sigma square x, x this is 16 multiplied by 16. Okay, so 3, 3, 9, 9 multiplied by 16. So this is what this is basically 144 and that is but that is the solution for the various of my question. Okay, so that's it for today in which we have seen and found out the expected value of y and also the variance for my question as well. So that is basically the solution in which we have discussed all of these quantities one by one. Okay. So if you have any question, you can ask me in the comment box. So see you soon.